Hello, folks. Washington State Picker here. I have a lock for you that uh, sent to me by the one and only average picker. It's called Fact 37. It's made by him as, him as well. This lock has kicked my rear end. Um, broke a few picks in it. And uh, I'm just going to pick it on camera and uh, give it a few minutes. In fact, let me move the camera. Let me try to get it more... Right there, maybe. God, I got a mess. I have a mess and I have a... He's kind of a friend of mine. He's a friend of my girlfriend's. He's coming over this weekend and he's going to play with some locks. I gave him a uh, pinning uh, set of pins. <clears throat> I gave him uh, some tools to take locks apart with. And uh, made him a little challenge lock that he could practice with. He got it picked open, so I told him he's going to come over and make one himself. Anyway, I'm going to try to use this, this thing on it. Um, well, maybe I can pick straight on. Let's see. Usually doesn't do very well picking counterclockwise, but I'm going to try it. Nope, now I'm hung up. This has some wicked warding in it. It's really a tricky warding. I just made a couple challenge locks out of the same kind of lock. And uh, haven't sent them out yet, or if I did... I haven't seen them on video yet. I can't remember half of what I do. The only reason I'm going bottom of the keyway is because it gives me a rest. Yeah, I'm going to tension the other way. It gives me a good rest to lay my pick on. Hey, that might work good. I don't even know what kind of key this is or lock. I got mine off of eBay and a set of locks that I bought. I'll try a different pick here. Something a little less intrusive. Using very light tension. You get a lot of core movement going clockwise. But with the warding in there, it's kind of hard to, for me anyway, to differentiate which pin I'm on. I know Average Picker made this, and I think he picked it on video too, and it looked easy, but, you know, like I told him in an email, I'm not a Average Picker like he is. I'm below. <clears throat> Truth be told, I prefer to make them than I do pick them. I do want to see what's in this. I think I watched the video and saw before I picked it. But, I don't know. If I remember right, there was a lot of T-pins. If you ever want to stump me, put T-pins in a lock. I'm going to give it an old college effort here. Getting some good clicks out of six. I think it's a six pinner. Huh. 
So, I have, I think, 10, maybe 12 challenge locks I've made. I'm getting ready to send a package out. I think I'm going to divvy them up amongst a few packages. Got some picks that I'm waiting on handle material for, for Al LaBelle and BLP60. And uh, divvy some up to them, and then I'll send a smaller package to somebody I haven't sent a package to yet. And hopefully people enjoy the locks and find them challenging. I'm going to quit worrying about seeing them on video anymore. That's kind of selfish anyway. Started to make more fun locks. Locks that give feedback and false sets. At least, to the best of my knowledge, I don't usually pick my own. I'll play with them. Unless I stick a super spring in it, I'll always play with that. I like those. I wish more people would use them. Because once you get that false set from setting that super spring, it's really easy to manually manipulate the core because it doesn't want to move. So you don't have to use a lot of finesse when you're trying to um, uh, rotate the core. Kind of holds it steady for you. I don't know how long I'm going to give it. Am I even still recording? Six minutes. I'll give it to ten minutes. So I am at my place in Washington. And even if I did a 15-minute video, it'd take about 13 hours to upload here. My place in Oregon, I can do a 10-minute video in three minutes. So, and yes, I'm at the fastest internet. Still, I keep calling. I think they're lying to me. Last few minutes, I'm going to tension this way. Kind of turn it. I'm sorry, guys. It's a very weird angle for me. Little core movement. I think it was off of four. Minute core movement. Oh, I dropped everything. Trying to counter rotate. It's an interesting lock, I'll tell you. Very hard to get a feel for. At least for me. Probably doesn't help that I have major carpal tunnel going on in my hand. Half the time it's numb or tingling. All right, we'll call it good. You whip me, average picker. Good job, buddy. Good job. I really just want to see what's in this thing. Move the camera to the center for the gutting, as I do. Uh, oops, oops. Almost loosened my camera, not the tripod. Don't want to lose my pry bar there. It's the only thick one I got. I really wish they'd make 60 thousandths pry bar. I told Lilac Tools that's my request for him. Gosh, if you haven't tried Lilac Tools picks, buy them. Well worth the money. I think I paid $70 for the set. $67. Something like that. Great set. Well made, they're a little, little flimsy because um, they're thin, but if you're careful, they rock. They've got a lot of good strength to them. They, they to me, just feel flimsy. But, you know, I've got friggin', I'm like a bull in a china cabinet, man. I don't have a lot of finesse. And this thing's going to piss me off. Let me get my spreader. Where is my spreader? Oh, uh-oh. That went flying somewhere. 
I, I didn't hit it, hear it hit anything hard, so it's in the carpet somewhere. I hope I didn't break it. I shall find it, and I think I have some clips that'll fit. I need to order some more, though. Definitely going to shim this bad boy. Use an old wore-out shim here. Maybe give it its last uh, hoorah. So these are really weird locks. I bought, um, I have a, four of them. Two like this and then two with SC4 keyways. Really interesting. And it comes with a key. Maybe somebody can help me. Let's see, here's one of mine with the SC. Yeah. But anyway, if somebody can help me, this is called a key tool, re-key tool. What the hell is this thing for? I know I can cut it like a key. Anyway, if somebody can help me with that, that'd be great. Let me know what, what the hell's really going on here. Make sure I don't get these in the slot. Oh no. I think I lost one. Oh no, another gutting disaster. Oh no, I'm so sorry guys. Shim it. Shit. I'm really sorry guys. <clears throat> um... I don't want to break the pins, so let's see how I can, how can I do this. Pull you out. I'm going to pop the top. Do this without spilling all these pins. Up the top, get the first, I think it's pin one, it's bound up on me. Here, let's empty the key pins first, just so I don't lose track of them here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, perfect. Nice spool. I'll fix these in a minute. It's funny, I've gutted these before. Never had a problem. Turn the camera on and all hell breaks loose. Ain't that a fact, Jack? Okay. Now I can focus on getting this bad boy off of here. And I'll have to glue it back on and just slide it off the back. Ah, what a disaster. Hope I don't go doing this when the buddy of mine is over here. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Here, let me... God, that's sharp. There we go. It was uh, 
driver one. So, son of a bitch, what a mess. Really sorry, guys. BLP60 laughing at me right now. Saying, ha, ha, ha. Wait a minute, that's not right. I got... Two, three. I'm assuming that's one. One hardly had any tension on it. And we got two coppers. Um, this is uh, two. Oops. I'll use Hello Kitty Mother Jasper. Ooh, that's a nice spool. I'm surprised I didn't get more false sets out of that one. Well, since I'm coming through the top anyway, just there's three. Yep, T pin. I remember this bad boy. That's a wedding cake T pin. Wow. I need to start making more of them. See, that was three, four. Oh, I gotta get this out now. Oh, shoot. Well, son of a bitch. Now uh, let me know if I got those two backwards. Oh, you can't even see what's going on. I'm sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Was this the key pin? I have. All right, you guys can't even see what's going on. I'm so sorry. Paying attention to what I was doing, I forgot to look into the camera. Anyway. Some of these are upside down. Let me turn them around. Um, I will take a picture of it. I, I don't think Average Picker's on Facebook. If he is, I don't know. Looks like he has a driver for a key pin there. That's interesting. All right. Nothing more in there. Let's see what was done here. Looks like nothing done to the core. Bible, we can see now that I butchered it. Nothing done to the Bible either. Interesting. I don't know why it was so hard for me except for this. Look at the warding. Um, that was not on there. That's, I don't think. Anyway, I'll have to find the... Tail piece here, a clip. Alrighty, let me zoom out so we can see the springs. God dang it. Uh, slide these down. Okay, good enough. We have. This was a total disaster. I really didn't feel like trying this tonight, but I haven't done a video in a long time. I apologize. Got standard and one. Nice little, uh, call it a serrated. Two, three is a spool with a serration. I don't have my goggles on, so it's hard to see. Four is a standard. Three is a nice, beautiful spool. Five is a standard driver. Or six is a standard driver. Uh, six driver is standard. Five driver is a step down. Let me zoom in on that one. Look at that bad boy. Holy shit. That's beautiful. Then, then we got a wedding cake. Step down, sort of. 
Got a nice uh, spoolish thingy there and uh, another nice spool which is upside down I believe. Thanks for watching guys. That was Average Pickers. Average Picker Fact 3-7. Whatever that is. Alright folks. Thanks a lot. And Average Picker, I will pop that back on. Hopefully, maybe I'll even glue it. I don't know. I don't know. Once I pop them off, they tend to go cattywampus. And I'm finding springs everywhere. Y'all have a great night. Uh, see you on the flip-flop.